Time to do 2016 Tops Chrome Baseball. Half case, number six, eBay style. Come on with it. So we're doing six boxes of this. The last time I had a Windows computer, I had Windows XP. Just to uh, to give you a, a little, like a, kind of like a timeline of uh, my knowledge of that. All right, here we go. And as always, good luck, everybody. And away we go. Let's see what we got in this first box. The Giants won two first-round picks for Odell Beckham Jr. Joel Embiid has a facial contusion, so he's not playing. What is going on? There you go, Bradley. That's Watch. Watch the magic happen now, dude. What's up, man? So my boy wants some brewers. The brew crew. Let's get it done. So LeBron had to had to beat up on the Hornets tonight after the Heat spanked them boys. Did Kevin Love play tonight? Let's go, Cody. A little Tigers mojo. Oh, Joel Embiid left the game with a facial contusion. Oh, man. Yeah, Bradley, uh... Well, I don't know if he's doing all right or not. I, I didn't get a chance to speak to him, which, uh, you know, understandably so, man. You know, I, I would probably be be extremely depressed. Um, you know, I sent him a text message, you know. But, I mean, what, what can you do in that situation? You know, there, there's only so much you can do except, you know, be there for him. And, and yeah, I mean. Not much I can do. My man Posty wants some Mets. There you go. Let's get it done. All right, everybody. Good luck to you. Let's see what we got. Again, all cards in Topps Chrome are slightly bent. Before, uh, before I get messages about that, I am going to tell you to refer to the video. Day Holy of the Mariners with the autograph. Uh, Bradley, we do not combine shipping for breaks that take place on on different days. Uh, we only combine shipping uh, daily, not for breaks that take place on different days. So I, I cannot combine your shipping with your race purchase from last night. Sorry, man. De Holy Mariners Auto right there. I think that's numbered. Jose Abreu to 75 for the White Sox.
Isaiah Thomas undergoing surgery in his right hip. Well, that guy's career is pretty much over. There you go, Posty. Matt Reynolds with the on-card auto. You asked for a Met, and there you go, my dude. Boom. I hear you, Bradley. I hear you. You know, I mean, I, I got to make my money at the same time, too. You know what I mean? There you go, Posty. Asking you shall receive. Nina Agdahl, that's an angel. That's kind of funky how they have like celebrities or whatnot on this. Was what it two autos per box? Yup. See if any any parallels or anything. Oh, rah rah. You you must have me mistaken for Jason. <laughs> that be nothing all right one box down five more to go See, did I tell Jason this already? Because Yeah, I did. Uh not yet, Braden. Not yet. But now that I know you want some reds, it could happen. There you go, Cody. Spreading that good mojo. That's what it's about, folks. Spreading that positivity. Exactly. Got to feed the addiction, baby. Got to feed the addiction. Well, there, there's worse addictions out there, Bradley. There are worse addictions out there. Oh, I was just about to say... There, there are people out there sucking dick for crack. Unless you're into that sort of thing, then hey, but you know, by all means. True, Cody, true. As long as the, the wife or the mistress or the... Uh, the what you know as, as long as the old ball and chain doesn't give you crap about it 
Anyway, let's see where we go here. Well, that's a reds, but that's not no ink on it. I want some ink on it. Got a little purple for Brandon Drury of the Diamondbacks. That is numbered to 275. Whoa! Cody, hopefully your girlfriend doesn't beat on you, bro. If she does, call the police on her ass. It's time it's time we take our manhood back, folks. Trevor Brown of the Giants on card auto. Very nice. Yeah, right. right. Rub her back, and then you can buy whatever you want. Exactly. You don't pull a Brewers card, nothing's off the table. <laughs> Nah, let's let's. I don't want I don't want it to get to that point, man. Leave 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 the the strange to me. I want you guys to 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 flourish. Let's see what we got here. Johnny Knoxville that goes to the Dodgers. Is that guy still alive? Johnny Johnny Knoxville used to be like all over MTV and shit. He was in movies. I could, I could, dude. Everywhere I looked, that guy was all over the place. Now I, I don't see anything of him. Ryan Braun to ninety nine for the Brewers. So no auto, but a nice little hit, a little hit for the Brew Crew for the Red Sox. Craig Kimbrell. That is to ninety nine. Probably too rich for folks' blood, Jason. Maybe, possibly. You think that's what it is? For the Royals with cheese, Miguel Almonte. Rookie card, on card, auto. Blue on blue, numbered to 150. That's nice. We got a rookie duel tonight. We got the Jazz, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum of the Celtics going at it. I hope they are matched up with each other because that would be fun to watch. I think Steve-O might be addicted to crack. I don't know. I mean, you know, that we're, we're talking about a guy that tattooed a, a picture of his face on his back. If that's not crackhead uh, material, <laughs> I don't know what is. No parallels or nothing. All right. You, they hit a Davers 101 in, in a tribute break uh, blast. Oh, yeah, I remember that episode, Cody. He, like, he stapled his butthole shut. That was ridiculous. You know that? Yo, that's crazy. They had a show like that on TV back in the day. Could you imagine Jackass on television now? I bet I bet it would have happened. Yeah, those those, those they they are indeed jackasses. I remember when they did uh, they did like a spinoff of Jackass. It was the Wild Boys. That show was pretty dope. Because it was Steve-O and one of the other Jackasses on there. But like it was animal related shit. Which is cool as hell. It was like Jackass slash National Geographic. Where else could you see a little baby alligator bite, uh, bite a human being's balls? That's entertainment folks. Well, Ra Ra, I was one of those kids that was dumb enough to copy Jackass. So what are you saying? I remember Viva La Bam. Viva La Bam was fucking hilarious. When Bam Margera would like beat up on his dad and shit, that was fucking, bro, that was the shit. Don Vito was my dog. R.I.P. Don Vito, that's true. R.I.P. Don Vito. Uh, Steve-O has been clean for three years. Oh, what a quitter. What a quitter. Steve-O has his own YouTube channel? I believe it. 
bro, Posty. I used to watch Viva La Bam all the time. I remember there was the one episode where Bam gets his fucking purple Lamborghini and just chops the top off of that shit, giving zero fucks. You're saying there's more Jessies out there in 2018? I was pre-YouTube. I was pre-YouTube. Man, I, I wish I had access to what kids have access to these days. I would have been a YouTube star back in the day. Oh, man. Didn't Ryan Dunn also die? R.I.P. Ryan Dunn. Yeah, he passed away in a car wreck. That shit was, uh, no bueno. I remember Bam Margera being pretty torn up about it. That was like his bestie. Like, if one of my besties died, I would I'd probably be pretty fucked up, too. All right, Silverman, I'll put you down for a spot. Which means we have 12 left in the tribute filler. Do I think kids are fucked in the head? Um, I think I don't think they're fucked in the head. I think they have a skewed perception of reality. You know, I feel like uh, kids today are all about this bullshit right here, and you know, views and and hits and likes and shit like that. Kind of like that episode in Black Mirror. If you haven't seen Black Mirror, I highly suggest you watch it. Uh, but yeah, I feel like kids these days, they're more so, they're more interested in what, how many views they can get or, you know, kids these days are pussies. Definitely. Definitely pussies. And they're also extremely, and I say this, and, and I say this, uh, hopefully not to offend anybody, but kids these days are bordering on mentally retarded. Like eating Tide Pods? Back in my day, the Tide Pod challenge was like the cinnamon challenge. I'll, I'll eat a spoonful of cinnamon, and the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to fucking cough my life away. Boom. Beautiful video. Awesome. Enjoyable. Could, could, very to little to no harm. No pro Even before that, when I was in grade school, we used to have, uh, we used to get like pencils. And we would get the, the eraser on the pencils and we'd like erase our skin off. And we'd literally erase the upper dermis to like scar ourselves. That was that was the Tide Pod challenge of our day. But now we got kids that literally eat Tide Pods. Mm, that takes washing your mouth off with soap for cursing to a whole new level. But you know what I call that? I would like to... Uh, I would just like to say that there's this beautiful thing called natural selection. And if you are stupid enough to ingest a Tide Pod, you deserve to die. Richie Schaefer to 250 for the raise. I think so, Rara. I think, uh, yeah. you know what, though? I also, I blame the parents, man. You know, I, I got to blame the parents, too. I feel like kids these days are pussies because they never got their ass whooped before. Before I could even speak, I was getting my ass whooped. I'm talking extension cords, flip-flops, brooms, fucking all, ty all, types of, all types of stuff. So when I actually got to school... You know, I had respect for my fellow man because of those ass whoopings, if that makes any sense. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez to 25 for the Rockies. You know, I would think, oh man, I don't want to do anything bad because me and that kid that do bad things, we're both going to go home and we're both going to get our asses whipped. I'd rather avoid that. You know, that would, that would be constantly in my mind. There you go, Reds! Uh... Kevius Samson, what a name on that guy. 
on card auto for the Reds. You know, I, I yo, I can't I can't tell you how many times like before I would do stupid shit, I would think about is this gonna get my ass am I gonna get my ass whooped for doing this? And if the answer was yes or even a maybe, I would not do it. Simple as that. Bro, wooden spoons. I used to get medieval like medieval treatment. My mom would have me uh, sit on all fours with my knees and my, my palms on the ground on all fours. Uh, pretty much sitting on pebbles, little rocks. With your body weight on that shit, after about 30, 30 minutes, that shit hurts. Taylor Jungman of the Brewers to 275. Oh, and God forbid you move. That's a lashing. That is a lashing across the back. Bro, I used to get my ass whooped in all kinds of ways. Used to get my ass whooped in the shower. And my mom, bro, my mom don't give a fuck. She would, she would beat me with anything. She would literally punch me sometimes. You know, she wouldn't punch me in the face because, you know, that's how I make my money. But she would, like, punch me in the chest. And as a child, that shit hurts. Wire hangers. Oh, man. I used to get it all. John John Wick, let's, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. But, yeah, I got I to agree. I think kids these days are definitely fucking pussies. Which is why I can't wait to have kids. Because if he even... Or he, if he or she even thinks about doing anything bad, all they're gonna, all they're gonna remember, is me whipping that ass. Oh, dude, my mom is, my mom is a savage. Like you look at her, she seems like, oh, she's an angel, and she is an angel. So don't talk, don't talk, don't talk shit about my mom. You know, she's a fucking angel. She's a saint. But God forbid you cross her. Oh my God. Beelzebub reincarnated. That woman plays no games. And you know, and I, I grew up to be a decent, you know, functioning member of society. Barely, but you know. Like I said, to this day, I'm 28 years old, bro. Anytime I think about doing stupid shit. Like the other day, I was in Spencer's, and I was looking at this wallet that I wanted. I'm like, I could probably just jack this shit right now, and nobody would fucking catch me. And then I remembered that one time I stole something, and my mom whooped my ass in front of, like, everybody in the store. And they all looked at me and laughed. And then I remembered, you know what? Nah, I'm cool. And then I, and the, you know, and then I went home. Well, Jason, I didn't have toys growing up. I was one of those kids that uh, I actually had to go outside and play. I didn't have Game Boys. I didn't have... Vi Bro, my first video game was the N64. And I was already in like the 4th, 5th grade when I got that shit. Before that, the only time I was able to play video games was when I went to Columbia. And one of my cousins had like the original Nintendo. Other than that, I would go outside and play. Your mom took you back into the store after you stole some candy? Yeah, not my mom. Exactly, I had my dick, so that was my toy. That's what I would play with. And like I said, I would actually go outside and play. You know, I mean, I was a little mischievous little kid. You know, I like to, I like to play with fireworks. You know, I, I was a prankster, so, you know, I would put potatoes in, in the mufflers of cars. FYI, don't do that unless you want to hear a loud-ass pop and quite possibly fuck up their exhaust system. I would throw rocks at mirrors, not mirrors, at windows and, and shatter them and then run away. I would build ramps out of scrap wood that they throw to, that they threw away at, at the local McDonald's. Not that, not the local McDonald's, at the local Home Depot. I used to live next to to a mall uh, where there was a Home Depot there, and they would just throw like scrap wood away. So me and my friends, in our little bike gang, we would 
get like scraps of wood and we'd build ramps. And that's that was our original jackass. Was we would build ramps and you know jump off of them and try to do tricks and whatnot. And uh, lots of scars doing that. But boy, it was it was a good time. Hunter Pence of the Giants to 150. What up, Pappy? Yeah, Catholic school. I don't know about all that. AJ Reed of the Astros on Cardano right there. You know, as kids, we used to play, like, fun games. Well, fun to us, anyway. You guys ever play Burn Ball? Or what about uh, Bloody Knuckles? You guys ever play Bloody Knuckles? I bet kids kids these days don't play that shit. Yeah, I bet a bunch of pussies, these kids. Little, little baby back bitches. For the Nationals, Bryce Harper right there. That is not numbered. I thought it would be numbered. Because it's like all shiny fancy and whatnot. I, I thought Bloody Knuckles was like a Miami thing. But clearly it's not if it made its way all the way to Boston. <clears throat> Bloody Knuckles, baby. Good times, good times. Somebody asked for a Yankee. There you go. Luis Severino, rookie card for the Yankees. Very nice. It's a four ninety nine. Oh well yeah, we would just play we just call that football down here, Pappy. No tackle football? I mean tackle football with no pads all day. All day. That's how I broke my wrist twice. Good times. Good times. We got Trey Turner purple for the Nationals. To 275. Have you ever played tennis with your hands where you slap each other's hands? Yeah. I forgot what that game is. Where you, you put your hands out, and then, like, it's one hand underneath the other. And then, like, you got to slap his hand, but then the other person has to, like, move their hand away in time. Kind of like that. Is that what you're talking about? Wireball. What the hell is wireball? Southern California had Crip Knuckles. Oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> so they would call it Crip Knuckles instead of Bloody Knuckles? Crippy Knuckles. That is funny as shit. Let's see if we can get you a little Tigers action, Octo. Alright, on box five right now. Damn, Cody. I never played that one, Braden. John W., that kind of sounds like a variation of what we used to play. We used to play uh, Burn Ball. Where you have a ball and you have a wall and it you could it could be however many people uh, to play and the object of the game was you throw the ball as hard and as fast as you can against the wall. Uh, if you throw it, you can't catch it, so someone else has to catch it. If they if they drop it, they have to run and touch the wall. If they don't touch the wall in time. You can throw them and beam them with it. Or wall ball, right. Wall ball, I guess, is more of a uh, a legit game. 
The circle game? What the fuck? Oh yeah, this that this game right here, which is slightly coming back. I see like memes of this shit. Where you'd be like, hey bro, oh hey listen look bro, your your shoes untied. And they look down and they and then you hit them with this, and then you gotta slap them. Yes, points for one hand catch, two hand catch. And if they don't reach the wall in time, they gonna have to stand on the wall and get beamed by everybody. Good times, man. Good times. Let's see what's another game. Not 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 as uh not as violent, but uh, you guys remember playing Manhunter? Do kids still play hide and seek? Hide and seek is the shit. Hell yeah, good old wall ball, or as I used to, or as we call it, burn ball. Made you a man, and it built explosiveness, and speed, and dexterity. See, kids, kids, kids don't know about none of those games, man. What, what do kids play these days? Pokemon Go on their phone? Fuck out of here. Although that's actually a pretty dope game, I'm not gonna lie. The first week that came that it came out, I was I was out and about everywhere just trying to catch Pokemon. Smear the queer. What the that sounds like a hate crime, Posty. That sounds like a hate crime. I'm all about violence, but not, not hate crime. That's that's not cool. It's 2018, bro. David Ortiz of the Red Sox purple. That's the two sides. How do you even how do you how do you play smear the queer? Kill the man with the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like uh what is that? What is damn. We they, we used to call up Damn it! We there was a name for that game. Ryan Dull for the A's with an auto. Yeah, 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 Posty, I remember that game. Where well the way we played it was it it'd be you throw the ball as high as you can. Someone catches it, and they get, they gotta try to run through everybody on the opposing side. Like we did it, where like you had to touch a pole, or you had to touch a car, or you had to touch something in order for you to be fr or like. I forgot that I forgot how we we used to call, we used to call that game something. I just I can't I can't remember. A lot of drugs, a lot of drugs. Anyway. No, not capture the flag. I think we called it fly ball or something like that. Where you throw the ball as high as you can. And then someone has to catch it and then try to run it back to the objective or whatever the hell. Whatever spot we designated would be like the touchdown. Usually it was like a pole or something. Michael Brantley to 99 for the Indians. Steal the bacon. I don't know if I ever played that one. Dodgeball is probably one of my favorite games. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, that's pretty sick. Hanley Ramirez, rookie card, on card, numbered 1 out of 25. That is sick. Or I should say Rookie of the Year Chronicles. That's pretty nice. Very nice. What's another game? You, I know you guys used to like shoot BB guns at each other, right? All right, so we we had a game where it was basically it was like tag, but with paintballs. Justin Verlander of the Tigers to ninety nine. So what we would do is instead of like actual paintballs, we would freeze the paintballs overnight, and then we would shoot each other. With said, uh, with with said uh, paintballs. I gotta tell you, that shit 
hurts. Paintballs hurt already. But frozen paintballs? Painful. Anyway. What else we got here? That's it for that. Uh, which card are we talking about? Well, the Hanley Ramirez is numbered 1 out of 25 for the Florida Marlins, or a.k.a. the Miami Marlins. And uh, the Justin Verlander is 85 out of 99. Right there. What else we got? Last box mojo. That's what we got. No, that's 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 uh, that's a that's a good question, Brady. I know he's with the Red Sox right now. I don't think I ever played floor hockey, but you know what's a really underrated gym class game aside from dodgeball was box ball. You guys ever played box ball? Jazz and the Celtics are playing right now. Spider Ball. I might have played Spider Ball. I just I don't I don't think I remember it though. It might have been a, a variation of a game we played down here. Describe it to me. You know what's another really underrated game? Kickball. Oh man, kickball was the shit. We used to play stickball too, which was baseball, but with literally a stick and like a tennis ball or something. That was another great way to build up dexterity. Man, I remember being a kid, bro, and I used to have to make my own baskets. I would I would like I would get uh I would get one of those milk cartons and I would cut the bottom of it out and I would like hang it up on a tree or something, nail it up there, and I'd play some basketball. See, when you're a kid, you don't really give a fuck that you don't like that you don't have money. You just you went out there and your imagination would run wild, and you could just have fun. But now that I think about it, man, I, yeah, I didn't have any toys. Like I didn't have like I had to, I had to entertain myself. Now, you just get one of these some bitches and entertainment for days right there. So I think when I decide to have children, I'm, I'm probably not going to, like, expose them to technology until, until I feel like it. Anyway, last box mojo. Here we go. Like, as far as video games, oh, hell no. I'll be damned if I have, like, a child playing on, like, the PlayStation 6 or whatever. Uh-uh. You got to pay your dues. You're going to start off with the Atari 2600. And then, you know, work your way up to where I'm at. Damn it. Zach Britton of the Orioles green to 99. It's like dodgeball, but I can go anywhere. When you got the ball, you can take two steps. 
that sounds very familiar. I remember playing that in in in, in middle school, but I don't think we called it. I don't think we called it Spider Ball. Dude, I bro, I miss my mongoose. Me and my mongoose. Ripping it, dog. John Gray of the Rockies, number to 150. Kids are introverts, but I feel like we kind of make them that way, man. You know, usually if a kid is weird, their parents are pretty fucking weird, too. I remember playing that game, though. Where it's like dodgeball, but you can take two steps. You can take two steps, but then you got to pass the ball to someone else. Oh, I think we called that alligator ball. I think that's what we called it. Alligator ball or something like that. Where you could you could kick the ball or you could throw the ball. But after two steps, you can't advance the ball. You got to like kick it out somewhere else or pass it to someone else. I think we called that alligator ball. Oh, Hacky Sack. Fuck Hacky Sack. Hacky Sack was for the fucking weirdo, emo, fucking rocker kids in high school. If you played Hacky Sack, you were a fucking weirdo. I'm sorry. A fucking weirdo. At least, at least in high school. All the kids that played Hacky Sack were fucking weird as fuck. Dodgeball is banned in every school. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. We are raising a bunch of fucking pussies. Oh my god. Why is dodgeball banned in high school? Because some kid got beamed in the face? Well, that's how you learn to dodge, son. Jesse. Yo. Yes. Ariana was blocking the pin on one side and she got nailed in, in the, the face. face. I think I remember watching that <laughs> shit. I think I remember watching that shit. <laughs> oh. oh man. Tony Zyke of the Mariners autograph. You're a PE teacher? So tell me, why is dodgeball banned in schools? Cause I used to target the slow kids for sure. Why not? That's that's you learn at a, at a very young age about natural selection. Only the strong survive. Speed kills in nature, and we are also animals. You know, people tend to forget that the human beings are also animals. So, man, they they really they really need to instill basketball or I mean dodgeball back in the game. Dodgeball was such a great game, especially like prison dodgeball. Where you need like there's there's strategy and there's teamwork camaraderie in there. Too many kids got hurt. They now they use foam balls. Are you kidding me? Oh hell no. I, I need straight rubber balls to the face. Bro, I used to get hit in the face all the time. And you know what I started doing? I started dodging. Could you believe that? Pain is a great teacher. Kid, yes, kids these days are fucking vaginas. Anyways. I gotta stop taking these balls to the face. I gotta stop taking these balls to the face, yo. I need to dodge. I, I need to, I need to, I need to. You know what I would do? My go-to move was I would fake run to the ball because you know you, you, you line the balls up in the middle and you gotta run up to them and get them. So I wasn't the fastest kid growing up. I would fucking fake to go get the ball. They get the ball. They try to beam it at me. But I'm all the way in the back. So that gives me like just enough time to react. Instead of dodging the ball, I would just dodge everything. So like I used to do a thing where like you throw me the ball, I just fall to the ground. And I got like, you know how you do up downs in football? I would do up downs in dodgeball. Or oh, you throw the ball, boom, I'm fall to the ground. And then they started getting me where they were like throw the ball down. To where I'm going to go. I used to be so good at it. Where I would stop, drop, and roll. Boom. Yeah, I got... Pain is a wonderful teacher. Anyway. Tony Zyke, Mariners. John Gray, Rockies. 
Uh, Hanley Ramirez, Marlins. Ryan Dole, A's. Luis Severino, Yankees. AJ Reed, Astros. Uh, Kevia Sampson, Reds. Richie Schaefer, Rays. Miguel Almonte, Royals. Trevor Brown, Giants. Matt Reynolds, Mets. And Dejo Lee, Mariners, with the autograph. And that was the break. 2016 Chrome Baseball, half case, number six, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.